me dig into this uh, this truffle mac and cheese here. Oh, you can see that. Oh, wow. <laughs> to another dining adventure of Magtastic Productions. And this evening, we will be dining at the Yasmin Steakhouse. And this is actually our Valentine's dinner. And we're super excited. I mean, I've heard, we've heard great things oh, about yeah. this restaurant. Well, already, come and join us for dinner, a Valentine's dinner. different wines here and there's actually more here in this booklet uh, yeah, here. Yeah, there's like different tabs so you can see how yeah. much wine lists and, and specialty drinks that they have and beers. Wow, yeah. it's really, it's really, it went all out. For the and I like the picture. Yeah. Of course everything is like sailboats and boats you know just like a yacht so <laughs> it's really nice it makes you feel like you're actually in an actual fine dining restaurant. And just like the wine menu they actually have a paper menu here which is really nice long time no see. <laughs> Uh, the fourth course, here's the options that they have. They have the salads, cocktails, the steakhouse wedge salad. I think Magnus is going with the French onion because she loves French onion. I'm going to go probably with the lobster bisque. They have this beef capaccio. Uh, there's the chef's signature offerings. They have a porterhouse for two. They have chilled animals tower for two, which is all seafood here. You can see the pricing. These are the butcher cuts. I think Magnus is going to go with the strip and I might go with the ribeye steak. That looks really good. These are accompaniments here, the pricing, and then you have uh, the enhancements here. You can get a half a main lobster, or you can get the Oscar style crab on top of your steaks here. Here are the land and sea entrees. You can get pork chops, seafood, uh, seopino, you can get chicken, sweet potato seasonal mushrooms, and these are the sides here. That truffle mac and cheese looks excellent. Magnus loves asparagus, you might get that. They have house-made truffle fries, which are really good, and they have roasted mushrooms and haircuts, burps, casserole, really good. So this is the menu here at the Yasmin Steakhouse. And all of the, all of the food is done from in-house in this particular restaurant. So from what I understand, everything is done in-house. All the meats are actually aged meat, and the aged meat is actually, except the Porter house are all seven days old. Oh wow. And the uh, and the the porter house is actually twenty days old. So it's all cut as you can see probably in the little butcher's window, which is exciting to see that they have a butcher's window. So you can see how they cut and you can see how the meat actually looks. Our bread service has arrived. We have on top of here the onion bread here with you can see the pieces of onion all over these loaves. And on the bottom there is sourdough bread. Wow, that was really good. They have the butter with red Hawaiian sea salt. Wow. And they actually have a whole roasted garlic here. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Excellent bread service. Really nice. And we love our bread service. And so. actually, if you look at this particular bread, babe, mm -hmm. where did we, we dine that has the same kind of bread? The mm. onion bread. Sebastian. That's right, Sebastian. So if any of you have gone or dined at Sebastian's, which is a Caribbean beach resort, Disney's Caribbean beach resort, they have that same bread. And oh, over there, yeah, it was the delicious bread. with the sweet jam, or well, the sweet onion jam. Yeah. So I can imagine this is going to be delicious. <laughs> okay, so let's taste this nice Hawaiian salted Reese butter salt. here. I'm going to put it here. And then look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and dip. Get some of this little garlic. Ooh, oh, yeah. that roasted that garlic. Ooh. Ooh. That looks so delicious. Look at this. Oh, and this bread is so soft and it's actually very warm. Oh yeah. So it's good. Let's try this. Mmm. Oh my god. The bread is nice and soft. The, the salt from the butter, it's so good. A nice little salty flavor, and then with that roasted garlic, 
delicious, delicious. Yeah, even the sourdough bread is excellent here also. With the, with the roasted garlic and the butter. Mm. Mm, close pop. Double flavor. <laughs> and I think it might be here, as you guys know, I love beer. I did get the City Brewing Highlight Indian Pale Ale here, which I love. Look at see here. And then Mavis over here, she got the nice watermelon, watermelon margarita. Right, and that's made with Patron tequila, which is really nice. Patron's the best tequila. Watermelon and lime juice. Oh, wow. wow. Look at the look little at garnish that. here. And look at the garnish of the lemon and the, yeah. and the uh, salt around the rim. It looks so good. It looks so good and beautiful. Yeah. It's a lot. Yours looks better than mine. <laughs> no, both look delicious. Both look refreshing. Yeah. Cheers. Here I go with my dangerous drinks oh, and my see. margarita. Let's so see let's we can see add it to the list. Add it to that list there. <laughs> Cheers. Oh yeah. Yeah, they made it really good, huh? Oh, I can taste the actual like tequila, but the Patron was... I like the watermelon flavor yeah. that's mixed in there. It's so good, and the salt around it is yeah, delicious. The salt up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the salt it. is really good, but this is this is definitely going on our dangerous drinks. This is good. <laughs> and what's great about this beer? They offer a lot of uh, breweries that are local here. And this is uh, this pale ale is from from Florida here, so it's really good. It's really sour, so if you like a lot of sour beers, definitely I recommend this one, the it highlight. Looks, it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Really good. Ooh. <laughs> so we did for, for our appetizers, we did get the soups. Uh, I did get the lobster bisque. This one has lobster biscuits, crème I think I'm pronouncing it right, and espalier oil here. So it looks really good. I see the biscuits right there. And look at the design, I love it. Like the white and the, the orange, really nice. And Mavis did go with the French onion soup. It's a sourdough uh, crouton inside, gruyere cheese and onion broth. As you can see, it's super cheesy. You see Mavis put a nice, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, that looks really yeah, good. We're big fans of, of uh, French onion soup, but I'm gonna try the lobster bisque this time. But really good, looks excellent. This looks so good. It's like it's like a work of art. I don't, I don't want to mess it up, but in I go. So let's go ahead and try the bisque here. Let me stir it around. Ooh. It looks very creamy, no? I'm gonna try it without the little bisque here first. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that looks so good, baby. Oh wow. Wow. It's not as lobster. It's a hint of lobster. It's not too like. Fishy, or should I? It's not fishy, but shellfishy. It's not, but it's really good. It's very subtle the taste. Really good. And what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna go ahead and try the biscuit here. Oh, yeah. All together with the. I'm gonna take the whole biscuit in my mouth. Here. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> mm. Wow. How is that? That biscuit. Mm, the lobster biscuit soaks up all the, the soup. All the goodness. Wow. This is the first time I had lobster bisque. If you guys had lobster bisque, I definitely recommend this. Oh my god. Excellent, not too salty. And a hint of taste of lobster. Excellent. I'm on to my second beer. This time I'm trying the Funky Buddha Floridian Heffenweizen here. And this one so far looks really good. More my taste. The pale ale was nice. It was very sour. Let me see how this one tastes. And this is also a Floridian beer. Local brewery here. Cheers. Wow. Is that good? Half and wise, it's really good. Yeah, I yeah think not, as, not as sour or as bitter yeah. as the pale ale, so this is more my taste. But I want to try different beers. This one's really a little lighter that. too. Yeah. And I think he said that the local breweries, there local was breweries. Orlando, Tampa, and, and Miami. Miami. So I think the one I had was Miami here, so yeah, this, this is really good. Funky really Buddha. <laughs> so right before the feast we're about to show you, Amber's got a nice little wine here, a nice little red yeah, wine to go wear me. Nice suggestion from our server. Really nice, so let me taste this. Ooh, sweet and delicious. Just perfect to pair it up with my steak. And this particular name, the name of the wine is called The Prisoner. Prisoner. It's a Zinfandel <laughs> blend. Yeah, yeah. She, talk about likes her sweet, this is sweet good. red wines. It's a little bit sweet. It's not like super overpowering sweet, which is just right. 
and it's not super dry or anything like that, which I like. Excellent with the meat. Excellent with the steak. <laughs> so our dinner has arrived. I got the ribeye steak here. Oh wow. my god, that's huge. It's an 18 <laughs> ounce. Delicious. We got on the side I got the truffle fries. That's my side with my dish. We got asparagus. We got mushrooms. Roasted mushrooms. And we got the truffle mac and cheese. Nice. And Magnus got for her side is the all gratin potatoes. Magnus got the New York strip steak this time. Usually I get it, but I got the ribeye this time. Yeah. And we went big. We want to yeah. try everything for you we guys. We went a little. We almost had the added the the uh, half lobster, but we're yeah. like, no, that's a little too much. And not only that, but then we thought, you know what? We have another dining review coming up. That's all basically ah. almost all seafood a little for you. Hint, hint there, a little so, sneak preview, huh? This is why we didn't do the lobster. So stay we'll tuned for that. To the stay tuned for that. <laughs> Let me try this ribeye steak here. It looks so good. I got it medium well here, so just a little pink. Let me try this piece right here. As you can see, I got it medium well this time. All right, let me try it. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Nice and soft, cooked really well. Soft and juicy. Love it. I guess I'm gonna be a big fan. Oh, meaning well. There's a little pink there. I don't mind this. Yeah, that, that pink, that color looks good. That's like rosy pink. Excellent. A really good steak. Ooh. <laughs> Let me dig into this this truffle mac and cheese here. Oh, you can see that. Oh, looks so cheesy. Oh, wow. <laughs> awesome. Look at that. Mm. Oh, my God. Wow, heaven. All right, mac let me try and cheese this. heaven. <laughs> so good, no? Wow. <laughs> you love mac and cheese? You love truffle mac and cheese? Oh my god. I can't. It's one of the best. I'm telling you, maybe the best mac and cheese I've tasted. Look at the cheese on here. Wow. Look at that, <laughs> Look at that stretch. Like <laughs> String cheese. Let me go ahead and cut it off. <laughs> Look at it. It still keeps on going. <laughs> Oh look, really, I just wanted to show you how cheesy it is. Awesome, I love this mac and cheese. <laughs> and also got the side is my truffle french fries here. Wow. Really oh, good. So this is so it's, it's a truffle day today, I guess. And it comes with like a sauce there too. Don't forget the little dipping sauce. Where's it? Oh, I even see that. Yeah, it's a dipping sauce. Oh, there, look at right? that. Wow, because the fries were hiding it. Let me yeah. try it with that sauce there. Mmm. Wow, look at that. All right, let's like go I said, for it's it. a truffle day. Mmm. Oh wow, that sauce is excellent. <laughs> what kind of sauce? What is it? I'm gonna find out for you guys. Let me find out for a bit, but I don't know. Whatever it is, it's it goes well with the fries. <laughs> Here goes the New York strip steak. Mm, now this is my favorite, see. but Magnus said, so, you know what? I'm gonna try it this time. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have some steak because we're in a steakhouse. Why not, right? Oh wow, look at this. Look at this. Uh, she got it well done. Look, so. the juices are already like. But it's so juicy. It look, well done yeah, steak. I got it well done. So a lot of juice here. Ooh, and let me try it with. The, first, I'm gonna try it without it and see. Look at it. Ooh, Very really good. Nice and mm. Oh wow. Mm. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, your <laughs> shit's my favorite, but maybe it's yours now. Mm. At least for here it is, it's so good. <laughs> now let me try this little piece with this sauce here. Okay, with well, the sauce, the compliment there. Mm. I don't find hangs. out what the sauce is yeah. again. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that sauce. Mm. Wow, it's nice and charred, it's so good. It's not, and I thought, okay, if I do it well done, it might, they might burn it, but no, it's perfect. And with the sauce, it's so good. Wow, mm. those mushrooms look so good. And I love mushrooms with steak also, so yeah. I said, hey, let's get the mushrooms. Let's get the mushrooms, and I'm gonna get asparagus. Some thick. Yeah, there's some thick asparagus there. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. So let me try a little bit of the steak. I'm gonna do a little bit, because a small piece here with the mushroom. Look at that. The mushrooms are thick too, nice and roasted. Mm. How is everything going here? Delicious. Delicious. Thank you, Marty. 
Yeah, yeah the service here is excellent. Excellent the service, service here. Taking on us. <laughs> Let me taste the asparagus here. Look at that. Oh, it's nice, crunchy, and soft. Mmm. Oh my god, this is so good. It melts in your mouth, the asparagus. Yeah, asparagus is nice and crunchy, huh? Mm -hmm. And before I forget. Oh, yeah, the potatoes. They're all rotten in Potato there. leek rot in mm. here. Wow, it's a lot of potato here. See, Look at that, nice. how cheesy and it's so oh, nice hot and warm. Hot, yeah. and... Mm. Oh my god, it's so good and warm, <laughs> cheesy, soft. Mm. I recommend everything. This is yeah. all delicious. Yeah, so when you come to the steakhouse, we always say, go out with a bang, right? Yes, Let's try everything. We're going out with a bang. <laughs> So yeah, for the sauce, for the fries, I found out for you guys, is the garlic aioli, which is really good. The peppercorn sauce. Peppercorn sauce from my, my New York strip. And, and then uh, it was blue cheese over a my steak, which is almost done there, guys. So. It's like melted <laughs> butter with blue cheese is so good. Everything here is so far is so good. It's like it's a lot it's of a lot steak. Of food. <laughs> a lot of food. I wanted to show you quickly the kids menu, which was not on the main paper menu. As you can see here, they have kids specialty drinks. They have the appetizers here. They have a little chicken noodle soup, mixed green salad. They have grilled chicken breast, baked fish of the day. They also have, what is that, or orchetia pasta and plant-based sausage. Oh, very nice. Oh, a little uh, oak grill steak, steak skewer for the kids. And then over here, and they have their own seasonal fruit cups, brown balsami rice, frozen yogurt, and berry push pop. So little mashed potatoes and Mickey, oh, Mickey puzzle, macaroni and cheese. So yeah, you can see this is also a very family-friendly restaurant. And alongside with the kids' menu, they also have allergy-friendly uh, food here. So just in case you're allergic to something, they have actually allergy-friendly butcher cuts and appetizers, as you can see here. Wow, really good. Food for everyone, right, baby? Yeah, food yeah. for everyone. I'm sorry. I'm still eating. These mushrooms are so good. <laughs> I can't stop eating them. So good. They have a little dessert menu here. They have dessert wines. Port and fortified wines, scotches, mm, very nice, cognacs. <laughs> and for dessert, they have the different types of desserts here. The, the, Ots, the Otsman chocolate cake for two, which I heard is very popular here, but I think it's a little too heavy for us. I might get the strawberry shortcake, and it comes with these items here, with the marinated Florida strawberries, gelato, chantilly cream. Magnus is gonna get the creme brulee. She loves creme brulee. It comes with the pickled, uh, pick, sorry, pick blueberries, blood orange, and, oh no, it is pickled, nice. And candy Meyer, uh, Meyer lemon. Ooh, that sounds really good. Sounds good. Uh, they also have the pineapple coconut tart, and they have the celebrating layers of magic here. Yeah. I think that's for the 50th anniversary, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's for the 50th, yeah. <laughs> so I have a change of plans. I actually asked if the, um, if the server, if they carried sorbet in the server, said, let me go and check. It's normally on the, on the menu but they did have it. They had a green apple, apricot, and raspberry sorbet. Wow, look at the service here in Disney. It looks so pretty. Something that's on the menu, but he got it for me. How awesome is that? It looks so good, I'm gonna try it right now. Here we go. We'll go Let's with the see. raspberry here. That is so cute. That yeah. was so nice of him. Very nice, I, I didn't expect that from here. It's, it's a Disney magic. The service here is great. <laughs> mm. Really Ooh, tart, tart and good. Really good. <laughs> Let me try the, I'm assuming the apricot. That's apricot. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Really good. Just like the fruit. And it's nice and chilly too. And now the green apple. Oh, and it looks so cute, the little three bowls. Nice and colorful, of, right? Of, uh, sorbet there. Yeah. Wow. And that is sour. For me, out of the three, the apricot is the best. Yeah. So, I can say if you guys like sorbet, and you guys come here and want to ask for a sorbet, they normally don't do it, but ask the server. Look, and they made the magic happen. So yeah. It's excellent. All right, man, we've got the creme brulee with the pickled mm, blueberries there. So it looks really pretty. good. And I like the little creme brulee there. Something simple. I mean, Usually creme brulee is in its own little... Um, a little what is it a little case a little porcelain yeah uh, bowl. it has the sugar but crunch. it's by itself the right sugar here. crust on yeah. the top so it's cute i but mean it look it still has it here oh yeah okay so let's try it let's try it right now try this oh yeah oh, you yeah. see it that was a nice big blueberry there oh look let's at that oh, oh <laughs> my <blueberry> blueberries <laughs> <laughs> let's try it look okay at that. Ooh, mm. nice 
Magnus loves creme brulee, mm. so she's a good judge. She's a connoisseur of creme brulee. <laughs> You're absolutely right about that. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It's a little bit creamier of a creme brulee yeah. than okay. I'm used to. Mmm. It's like a little peach of like coconut in the top oh, yeah, with the, and the, with the, the blueberry. blueberry. Mm, the blueberries are nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. And I like how they're very soft. And then it has a little sugar crust on top. So it still has a sugar crust. It's just a little bit different take on a creme brulee. It's more like a little, like if you look, it's more like a little of a pudding more. More like a custard? Like a custard pudding, but it's so good. It kind of reminds me of a flan. Oh, okay. But, that, that texture. And we, but, I love flan, so. But it's a little thicker than a, a flan, but it's so good. So do you so recommend good. getting the flan? I mean the flan. <laughs> <laughs> the creme brulee? I do recommend the creme brulee. So Always recommend the flan. Something light. <laughs> something light, yeah. Something light, creme brulee. Wow, the food was fantastic. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> the steaks were all delicious. Your steak was delicious? My steak was delicious, cooked medium well to perfection, just as I liked it. And your steak was? Mine was well done, and it was delicious, and it was juicy. I thought maybe if I asked for well done, because I don't like it where it's too pink or too red. Yeah. I don't like it because it, you know, it just doesn't look appealing <laughs> for me. But it wasn't burnt or charcoal it was this charred just right mm -hmm. and it was perfect yeah, it was excellent the steaks were uh, top of the game the Osman steaks excellent yeah and then all the uh, accompaniments or the, the, the sides, sides mm -hmm. were fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. Well, I mean the asparagus. the asparagus was delicious and juicy and fresh mm -hmm. that truffle mac and cheese oh, oh my, my god. god that's the dive for that it. was the best I think for wow. me is the best uh, truffle it's been mac the best so far it's yeah. really good awesome. um, the, the mushrooms, the mushrooms sauteed oh mushrooms god. oh my mm. god they were so delicious how about you all rotten potatoes oh the rotten potatoes <laughs> oh. I'm okay. taking some home because they give you a lot. That's a lot. It was a big. It's like everything they trip. give you, all the size was a lot. I thought, oh, maybe it's a little portion. No, uh, it's like a shareable size. Yeah, portions are really good. Um, my truffle fries was great with the garlic aioli sauce. Yes. Uh, your was it the peppercorn? I had the peppercorn sauce, sauce on top of my uh, steak. And I had the blue cheese. Yes. The blue cheese melted blue cheese or the steak. So yeah, it was so good. Excellent. It was excellent. excellent. Uh, the French onion soup. Yes, uh, the appetizers. The appetizers. It yeah. was so good. <laughs> that French onion soup was delicious. Super cheesy. I think I'm probably gonna give it a number two spot. Yeah, number two, as you mentioned. After yeah. be our guest, yeah. French onion soup. So number two. The lobster bisque and was excellent. And your lobster bisque was excellent, like wasn't that, it? It was the first time I had lobster bisque, as I said before. Creamy, not not so fishy taste, selfish yes. taste. Uh, it was excellent, very smooth. Yeah. And that biscuit inside the lobster bit was yeah. excellent. It made also. it give that little extra oomph. Mm -hmm. I always say yeah. the desserts were amazing. Oh, wow. They surprised me with my sorbet. Yeah. Like I said earlier, they that wasn't on the menu, and I said, hey, I told him, sir, you know it would be great if you, if you know it had as an option sorbet. He went and ch checked with the chef in the back, and they say, yeah, we have these flavors. I'm like bring it on you know <laughs> yeah instead of getting the strawberry turkey you know i wanted to get i wanted I was gonna get that but the sorbet i love sorbet guys i mean previous videos i emphasize in the sorbet and it's a nice light dessert to go with the meal yeah because you had that the whole entire meal was so filling that at the end of your meal you want something that's Super light. light yeah not too heavy i mean you they did have this beautiful chocolate 50th anniversary yeah, but it's too heavy for cake us. but they have We're cut it in full. the half yeah. and it's that thing was huge so i'm like no yeah, that's <laughs> Sorry. And, too much for yeah, us. And the creme brulee, how was your creme brulee? And the creme brulee was good. It was like, like it, it kind of tasted like creamy and pudding. She said it would like taste like flan. flan. Like a flan, yeah. Like and a I love custard. Uh, it was like very, it looked like a custard, creamy, but a creamy. little creamier than a regular mm -hmm. custard or regular flan. But if you guys check out the Haleo one, that's an actual flan in there. So oh, yeah. it was something that like was that, a... but a little thicker, a little more creamier. Mm -hmm. But it did have the little sugary crust on top. And those pickled blueberries. Yeah, the pickled were oh, really good. They were fantastic. I was, when I hear pickled, I thought it was gonna be sour for some reason. I don't know, like a real pickle. Yeah, so. It's the pickled blueberries, babe. But yeah, it was delicious. I mean, everything overall, this Valentine's dinner for us was amazing. amazing. It was great. Um, the only thing I, I I would mention, it is a little pricey. So hey, it's not a budget restaurant, but this is something if you guys are looking for something nice, a nice steakhouse or a nice mm -hmm. fat steak. What we say. <laughs> This is the place to come at Disney's uh, Yacht Club, the Yacht Prince, and it's, it's, it's amazing. So 
Um, you know, we, we thought it was great. Yeah. And, you know, awesome. I don't know what, but you probably said the same thing like me. I mean, we definitely, definitely recommend highly recommend it. Recommend it, yeah. So with that said, if you found this video useful and you enjoyed it, especially all the food, remember to like, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Like we said earlier, tonight was a great night. Tonight was a magtastic night. night. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next magtastic productions. Bye, Bye guys.